Hello everyone, hola. My name is Smar, and I'll be talking about how to automate your incident response for declinary risks using Posty. I'm joined by my co-host today, Carolina. We work at Aqua Security, a leader in the cloud native space. So this is the agenda for today. We'll briefly talk about what security implies what it shouldn't imply and some of the challenges associated in the space. We'll go over what SORTA actually means and what we plan to uh, achieve with it. And in the end, we'll go over some demos. So you might've heard that security is, is a need, not an option. You must fix security into all our products from day one. It cannot be an afterthought. It doesn't work if it's an afterthought. You must shift left. Some of you might not be familiar with this term, but essentially this is moving security closer to the active development of your software rather than, again, being an afterthought. And we've all heard the um, famous patch the servers, patch all the servers, and it has to be ASAP. Uh, hopefully you never get, get to see a zero day, but that's basically what the situation looks like when you have one. Uh, so what is security, you might ask? Uh, if you were to go and look for the definition, um, it's essentially the state of being free from danger or threat. Well, this is a general definition of what security could mean. Um, it does and it should translate somewhat very well to the cloud native space that we are working in. So you might wonder, how do I get into a state that is free of danger or any threats? Um, let's take a look at the cloud native um, landscape for, 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 for a minute. And let's see if you're able to figure out how many um, software uh, projects are on this landscape that directly or indirectly focus on security, monitoring, observability, and automation. So if you had any guesses, you would find your projects in the highlighted boxes. And that's a lot of them that, that you see there. Um, so having said that, um, maybe we should try to answer this question of what is security by eliminating our options and answering what is isn't security. So, um, Using more security projects or adding more layers just for the sake of protecting yourself is not security. Um, we've all heard of security by uh, doing security uh, by hiding stuff from uh, from the uh, from the audience from the user. Security by obscurity doesn't work. Um, reducing accessibility for your users to act that you're secure also doesn't work and most importantly, um, for the purpose of today's talk, um, it should never mean that a security person at a company is the alert management uh, team or security should never translate to um, alert management or alert ops for operators working at a, at a company. Um, so while I was preparing this talk, I decided to dive into this uh, topic of um, how the DevOps um, realm looks like today around um, security space. And I ran into this post on Reddit um, to highlight. Uh, it's a bit shocking and a little sad to see that someone working in this space, um, being a DevOps person, is having to deal with uh, such a situation. Um, so let's lay the groundwork that alert fatigue is real. It's a problem. We need to tackle it. The sooner we do, the better it is. Um, otherwise, you'll see and be very familiar with stuff like these. Um, and yeah, it's not a good place to be. So PagerDuty, um, the people who would really know about the alert in the monitoring space uh, where we all would 
have, have published um, a series of blog posts um, on their on their website that talks about what is life fatigue and and the problems associated with it and how do we actually get there in the first place so i do encourage you to check that out it's a great series um the link is on the slides um but the tldr is uh we need to do better the status quo of security um and the endless uh reports from different scanners is just creating more noise and more noise does not necessarily equal more security. So if you talk about the alert fatigue and we take the alert part of it um, and talk about that for a second, um, a good alert should possess all these um, qualities. Uh, first and foremost, it should be actionable. You do not want to get a page in the middle of the night um, and not know what to do with it. It should be descriptive enough that it has all the information self-contained within it so that you need to, you, you need and you and you know what to do uh, when you get that page um, it should also have certain set thresholds um, you don't want a page for every small tiny little detail on a friday night uh, while you're enjoying a party with your friends um, that stuff if it's not too important and not going to cause a meltdown can or might uh, or could bait until Monday. Uh, and most appropriately, you should go to the right people. Um, there's nothing worse than getting a page um, and then basically bouncing that off to another team because, well, quote unquote, you're not the right person for it. Uh, but in our definition, an ideal alert should be all of those plus it should be automated. You should get an alert that something's gone wrong, but you should not need to handle that. It should take care of itself. And the operator is essentially a passenger watching the series of actions and events unfold that are related to an alert. So if you put the two together, what is alert automation? Uh, well, it should be self-healing, like I just described that an alert should essentially take care of itself. Um, and in other words, we're basically automating the code and code playbooks that that, ex that exist today in the DevOps world, uh, where a series of sets, uh, a series of steps are defined in order to do a certain thing and achieve a certain task upon the, upon the uh, arrival of an alert. So, for today's talk, um, if we go back to its title, it's SOAR with POSTI. And for those of you that might not be familiar with what SOAR is, it's actually an acronym that stands for Security Orchestration Automation and Response. So combining all these things together, the system that works should possess all these qualities to handle your alerts and manage them. So I feel the picture would explain a lot better. Um, in this case, you can see you have all your security technologies, your firewalls, your antivirus, your vulnerability scanners, all those outputs from those tools, wonderful tools can go into the SOAR system. What SOAR essentially does is what uh, a team would manually do so it's no it's it's not magical it's nothing new other than the fact that this is a category that's that's that if defined well can act wonders uh, in this space so soar will triage uh, and analyze the incidents that are coming in from your security tooling and essentially as any system will act on those inputs that it receives and you know interact with external um, applications could be like paging you creating a ticket for it if it's not too urgent sending a message in slack so there's more than one person that can be alerted for something that might get missed send you an email uh, you know as vanilla and plain as it may sound um, emails uh, work uh, so without further ado 
um, or like to introduce POSTI. Uh, you might ask what is POSTI and it's essentially a combination of what I've talked today. Um, it's a message routing system, takes in inputs, looks at what to do with it and sends it out to something else. Uh, we have policy based routing using OPA in uh, the regular language. So you can essentially define your own policies um, and tell POSTI what you want to do when you receive um, a certain kind of event. And uh, more importantly, it can also enforce uh, stuff for you based on the alerts that you receive. So that's the third uh, remediation response aspect of it. So if you try to fit POSTI into the previous diagram and draw a picture, Essentially, you take in all the inputs from your vulnerability scanners, from your, uh, uh, from your Kubernetes operator, like Trivia operator, your, um, your system level um, demons like Tracy, looking for malicious behavior, vulnerabilities and whatnot, and pipe that all into Posty. Posty is gonna triage, like I mentioned, and the triage happens using um, regular rule of evaluation using OPA, categorize them and essentially act based on the policies you've defined to do certain actions like create a ticket, send an email, or even terminate a malicious process on your, um, on your host if that's the policy you've defined. So if you've not understood any of that, um, I have an ELI 5 picture for you. Um, you can take in any tool it will send an alert, create an event. Posty is going to take that and do stuff with it. Simple input, simple output. So how can Posty help? Well, as we've discussed, um, it can field alerts for you essentially. Um, Posty is available all day. You can go enjoy a party on Friday night. Posty is going to handle uh, the stuff for you. Um, it can automate those playbooks uh, when an alert happens uh, for you on your behalf. Um, and the overall picture is to, in general, reduce the operator overload um, so you can deal with the more important stuff and the routine stuff. Let's say your server crashed um, because of a hard drive failure um, that sends out an alert. Posty takes it, could do a remediation like uh, schedule another EC2 instance um, in place of the one that died. Um, very simple tasks um, and you can only make it more complex and suit to your needs as, as you go. So there's talk and talk is cheap. Um, I think the best way to demo post will be with the demo. Um, so I'll introduce Carolina and uh, she'll go over um, a demo of Posty with our tools and how you can configure and use it. Um, so, Carolina, over to you. Well, uh, thank you, Simar. I will continue showing uh, how can integrate Posty with security tools. For example, here we have Trivi that as you can see, Trivi can find vulnerabilities in container image, uh, file system, git repository, or even can find misconfigurations in Kubernetes, health charts, uh, can analyze uh, cloud formations, Terraform, uh, also with secrets and licenses. And I will use the results of Trivi to integrate with Posty. For, the, for example, uh, I will analyze my Docker image that is an Alpine image and I will run my Trivi in GitHub Actions. It could be any other CI, it could be Jenkins, GitLab. And I this result I sent to Posty because I want if I found some critical vulnerabilities, I would like to notify to my security team. That's the target. So uh, here is a project. So you can take a look. Is I put all the steps, and I will run the GitHub actions. 
uh, we have this the slack channel i will only put some mark to notice that i am receiving a new notification <laughs> and i will run my workflow with my demo so um as you can see well you will see here that i running uh, in this step in one of the steps i am running 3v so i run in 3v using github actions 3v actions and after i have the result i will send to posty posty that could be support any event you could send any event to posty and this is send it and if i go back to my slack i receive the notification because in this image i found some critical vulnerability and i want to notify my security team uh, i will show here uh, some steps about for example here is the posty user interface that i defined you could define many routes i have only uh, these two routes because i am doing these two samples and here uh, my root basically like we have uh, we using opa to define rules that you you want to apply in your input in this case it was the input for post was the 3v uh, the 3v result so if i found some critical vulnerabilities I want to be notified i want to take actions for my slack team could be any other third party like pager duty jira that you could set here and will be notified after you after match the rule yeah. so here is the demo about trivi with posting uh, any doubt that you have please uh, the repository will be public it's public already <laughs> so you can ping me if you have any doubt to do it or any other idea that maybe you are thinking how you need the result or you need to integrate or how are you using in your in your organizations so here you have yeah it's already we see it so i will go to the next sample that is tracy so Trace is another security tool that helps us to detect suspicious behavior at runtime. So for example, uh, in the before in the before demo, we were at the build stage. We are building our image. This image was or will be published in some Kubernetes cluster, and this image will be a container that is running and could happen anything when you are in production so tracy will help us to to protect or detect this kind of bad behaviors that could happen in our production or in any other environment that in at runtime okay uh, here also have this repository that is with all the steps that you can reproduce um basically i have uh, i will go here to my uh, channel first <laughs> go for my tracy channel and also i will put some to notice that this it's coming a new message and here i install in my environment is a, a kubernetes a, a kubernetes cluster and basically i have my tracy and posty installed then i have this pod that is a demo about generator uh files files is uh files is a technique though to to run some process at memory and when you run at the, at the at the memory maybe some antivirus or it's it's not easily to be detected so it's a advances advances technique so if some a hacker or some 
malicious actor could could run uh, for example a malware using this technique of files could be very hard in your organization because no one's it's not uh, it's not track or evidence that you you will not you will notice if you don't have uh, a tool prepared for that no? this is, okay i will run here uh, basically i am running i will run my I will run this, I will force to generate this event inside of my container. So as you can see, I basically running bin date that it was executed, but the mode that it was executed is using fileless mode. So this process was executed at the memory. That's the reason that Tracy detect with using the sign at the signature about uh, fileless execution and uh, detect that someone try to drop it some some executable at runtime so th this is like a suspicious event so uh, i will show also how was the configurations in posting in this case was uh, i receive the tracy event and the rule that is using opa i basically i am fear if uh, if I found some any signature or security signer that Tracy uh, sent us, you I will be notified in my Tracy channel. Okay. Well, all the steps are are here. So if you have more doubt, please contact us. And here is basically that I was explaining. If you have some malicious behavior uh, tracy could help us to detect because it's a runtime tool and here is all uh, the the demo so it's okay and here are the projects if you want to know more uh we have also a slack channels so don't please go there and um, if you have also some doubts or any other ideas and how you need it to use it in your organizations please also share with us so thanks so much for watching for be with us for the pay attention so uh, i hope to see you and and thank you also simmer and all the cncf organizations